Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Evans of the Coastal Animal Hospital, where we make your and your pet's life better. Today, I want to talk to you about cat vaccines. So knowing what our protocols are here, why we do them, and how we're different than other hospitals. So again, we try to do the minimum kind of necessary for, for vaccinations. And for cats, you know, there's a lot of different vaccines out there, and we give three, um, which is kind of the, the minimum vaccines that is recommended by the American Association of Feline Practitioners. So for kittens, the three vaccines that we give, um, the first one is the FVRCP or the Feline Viral Rhinotracheitis Khaleesi and Pamlucopenia. And that's a vaccine that's given every three to four weeks until they're 16 weeks of age. Um, then one year later, and then our vaccine is actually good for every four years after that. So it actually, we're giving less vaccines over the course of their life, which is great. Uh, this vaccine, and as well as our other vaccine, is a half of a cc. So it's a smaller volume, which is a more in comfortable injection for these kittens. Uh, so we actually really like that as well. The next vaccine is the FELV vaccine, the feline leukemia virus vaccine. Now, we don't give that to all adult cats. This is only given to adult cats that go indoor-outdoor where they have exposure to other cats. Indoor-only cats do not need this vaccine. However, young kittens do tend to escape and tend to get out. You know, we're adjusting to this new life with kittens, um, but also kittens are the most susceptible to getting FELV vaccine or FELV, uh, the feline leukemia virus if they are exposed to it. So we like to give them as much protection as possible. And so it's a series of two vaccines, one month apart, and then again at one year. And then if they're indoor only, they never get that vaccine again. However, if they continue to go outside, our vaccine is good for every other year. So you, they'd continue to get that throughout their course of life, unless their lifestyle changed and they became indoor only. And then the last vaccine is the rabies vaccine. And this is a public health issue, plain and simple. And that's anytime they're after four, uh, four months old, they get this vaccine and then a year later and then once every three years. And we do recommend indoor only cats get this vaccine because we get reports every couple times a year of an indoor only cat who was exposed their entire family to rabies because they were exposed through a bat or some other animal that came in the house and gave them rabies and then they disseminated it to their family. And rabies is a really, really serious disease. Now, um, only like five people have ever survived an active rabies infection. So it's nearly universally fatal if you get it and start showing signs. So this is why we make such a big deal out of it. And the reason why we're so lucky that we don't see cases of rabies you know, really frequently at all is because we vaccinate our pets. So please continue doing that. And that is why we continue to recommend it as well. So that's it. Those are the three vaccines. And adult cats, as I say, our FERCP vaccine is good for once every four years. The rabies is once every three years. And the FELV vaccine is only if your cat goes indoor outdoor. So if you have any questions about that, give us a call, 760-633-2254. Otherwise, I'm Dr. Brian Evans. Till next time.